Look, if you had one shot or one roll of film to photograph everything you ever wanted in one level, would you take a picture of it or just let it slip? First name Todd, last name Snap. I don't know why I'm trying to make this a rap. Guess I got nothing else to do. Guess I go and take a picture of Mew. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Nintendo LP back for the grand finale of Pokemon Snap. And yeah, we're taking a picture of Mew and I'm gonna stop quoting Eminem songs from like five years ago. What we gotta do when we first meet Mew in this level is we wanna break its energy shield because we can't take a picture of it with the bubble. That just looks horrible. Bubbles aren't flattering, they like add 5 pounds, even if you wear a striped shirt, bubbles still make you look fat. So Mew, stop like, being in this bubble, stop being ridiculous, we need to take your picture. Don't be one of those people who's like, no I don't like to get photographed. Mew, this is your destiny, to be in our swimsuit calendar. So we can see behind Mew, we have the Kingler constellation, that's going to be one of the six signs that we got throughout the game. Uh, when I was flipping around there, you saw the Doug Trio mountains, there actually is all six of them. I'm not gonna like spin around right now because I'm too busy trying to focus on getting Mew at the moment. What we gotta do is break its shield and then when it's like chasing back to try to get inside, that's when we can actually take its photograph. So let's see if it's actually to that point yet. Alright, and you'll notice when it's doing that too because it's gonna make this noise. Alright, Mew turned back to us. I don't know if I got a shot. I don't think I did. So I'm gonna have to break the shield once again. Alright, let's try this again. Gonna have to anticipate where Mew is coming from, either the right side or the left side. Alright, so we got it. If you'll notice, right when Mew like, came over our shoulder, it did this kind of cool flip move. If you can manage to take a good enough picture of that flip move, that is going to be how you're going to max out your score. You're going to get 2,500 points just for taking any kind of picture of Mew. So this is kind of an easy boss, but you can get a possible 10,000 point score. So if you get like a perfectly centered good snapshot of that flip move that he's doing, you are going to walk away with like 8,000, 9,000, or maybe even 10,000 points if you're really awesome, and I'm not really awesome. I'm going to try though. I don't want to get like the minimum. That'd be kind of embarrassing. That'd be like a cheesy way to end off this Let's Play, just like getting the bare minimum, because you get that 2,500 points, like I said, if you get any kind of photograph of Mew, even if Oak thinks it's horrible. So like, even this butt shot of me right here, where it's not even turning around, would net us 2,500 points. But I want to do better than that. I just don't want to be the guy who like, barely finishes. No, I don't want to be like, okay, you got a D, you pass. We want to strive for excellence in this video. And I'm probably going to come up short, but that's okay. Alright, another very small butt shot of Mew. And oh no, that better not be what I think it is in the horizon. It looks like we're almost to the end of the level, and I still haven't gotten like any kind of good shot of Mew. Alright, it's time to buckle down. It's crunch time. There's Mew 2 up there. Mew 2 is pretty cool. I like, I like Mew better than I like Mew 2, but I don't hate on Mew 2. Like, some people are like, no, you're either Team Mew or Team Mew 2, and I'm like, I like them both. I like Mew a little bit better, because Mew can transform into every other Pokemon. It can use all the TMs, all the ATMs. It just seems pretty cool, but Mew 2 pretty badass too so I like them both all right that little tiny shot is probably the best that we have so far I don't think I got any of Mew looking back at us this is horrible I'm gonna get the minimum no what a pathetic way to end the let's play wow everybody's gonna say I knew Nintendo LP couldn't be trusted to do a Pokemon let's play he's not skilled enough he screwed it up uh, oh that one it was kind of looking back at us I don't know maybe Come on, Oak, don't make me look bad. Give me like 2,501 points. All right, wow, isn't this the rare Pokemon Mew? So we get a value of 2,500 points right off the bat for a special bonus. Size 210, okay. So, oh no, give me some pose points too. No, oh, the minimum, that's horrible. All right, well, that's all 63 Pokemon and we got a D minus. We barely dodged summer school, but we did it nonetheless. Welcome back. You have completed the Pokemon Report! Todd is a genuine Pokemon photographer. Congratulations! What have I been doing this whole time? I wasn't genuine? I have nothing left to give you. Listen to your instincts and click the shutter when you see something that looks cool. Okay, Professor Oak. Pokemon research on this island seemed long at first, but it really went by fast. I appreciate all of your help. Well then, see you later. See you. Well then, see you. Now save and get the heck out of my lab. Alright, so this is the ending credits one of the ending credits. Alright, so we see our Vile Flume there, our Vile Plume. Pokemon Snap Staff, Jack and Beans, 
the director, some Japanese people that never sent me any free stuff. Like, if they had sent me free stuff, I would have bothered to learn to pronounce their names, but no. All they did was make a video game. That makes them worthy of me learning how to say their names? No, not on my watch. Alright, there's Goldeen, who I thought I didn't have, but I apparently already had. There's the Magneton twosomes. They're looking all sexy. What I really like about this is the ending credits is made up entirely of your pictures. So if you took really good pictures, you're going to have a really good ending. If you took really lousy pictures like I did, you're going to have to watch your own lousy ending. So it kind of like gives it a little bit of replay value because you're like, oh, I wish I would have took better pictures so I would have had a better ending. No, I, I mean, I guess there's a little bit of replay value for those who want to challenge themselves. For me personally, I think one playthrough of this game is enough. That actually was a pretty decent Charmander shot, now that I'm looking back at that. Oh, and there's little Bulbex. One Bulbex is looking adorable, the other one's like, screw this, look at my butt. It's mooning the camera. There's that man key flipping over. And there's Big D himself. Side duck, Sai yai 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 yai. We got some grommers going on. I think I see Electabuzz coming. Walking like a pimp, man. That's how I walk through when I'm rolling down the street. Yeah, it's Arcanon as well. Who else we got? Scyther. I can't believe I got that good a picture of Scyther. That was dumb luck because there's no way that I could have done that. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Charizard. I wish there was like a shiny Charizard because I like the black version of Charizard. I don't know why. Hey, bro. Looking slow. <laughs> That's the me of Pokemon. The slow bros. All right, so that is our photographic collection. And now we're going to end it by showing the name of the company that released this game, Nintendo. And I'm really tempted to like put an LP on the side of it and be like, look, I made this game. But no, I didn't have anything to do with it. Thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. I know it hasn't been a traditional Pokemon game done by a traditional Let's Player, but I hope we had some fun with this. All right, so now that we are done, there's actually one more thing that you can do. You can go in here to this gallery, and it's going to show you all of the photographs that you took during the game. You can arrange them any way you want. This is just like the four pictures, I guess your top pictures for right now, but you can switch those later. So let's back on out of here. The other thing that I want to show you is there actually is a little bit of replay value to this game because of what Oak is going to tell us about right now. I've been expecting you, Todd. The Pokemon Academy has officially announced the record for the highest photo score. Now you can compete to see how many total points you can get. I've arranged it so that you can see the challenge score for each course. Good luck, Todd. Do your best to beat all of the challenge scores. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that because we really don't get anything for doing the challenge scores. There's no like awesome ending when you beat all of the challenge scores. So I'll just run down and show you real quick. It's going to be the same score that we have to beat for all of the first six areas that we go through. You can see the beach, tunnel, volcano, river, cave, and valley all the same. The only one that is going to be any different is rainbow cloud. We don't have to get as many points there. Speaking of Rainbow Cloud, I am not content to end the Let's Play off right there with such a horrible showing taking a picture of Mew. I'm not going to let like the lamest Mew picture be what defines me on this Let's Play. No, I want to go out on somewhat of a high note as I stare at Mewtwo up there. Hey Mewtwo, I see you up there. Alright, so now I've had a little bit of practice. Alright, I did this like two times before and I did it the last time before. So this is actually my fourth time going through this course and I think I got it. I'm like confident now. I think I got this on lock. I'm gonna have a much better showing than I did last time. Alright so first things first we want to break its shield and this time what some people have told me to do or what I read online so you people like told me via writing stuff down is that once you break the first shield switch over instead and use the Pokemon food to break this next shield this yellow part of the shield if I can actually hit a moving target to save my life alright come on this is why I don't play first-person shooters jeez I am horrible at this alright we got him take that sucker alright so now comes the tricky part we have to wait oh wait I gotta hit it one more time I thought that we broke its shield alright one more time and then comes the tricky part yeah sucker what now alright so now I gotta kinda like anticipate where it's gonna be coming from right side or left side alright so there we go I gotta get fast. That doesn't flip like really quick. You only get like a second or so. I don't know how you guys take these awesome pictures, but I, I'm gonna strive for at least 8,000. So that shouldn't be too difficult to do. If I can get any kind of decent picture with the flip going, I can pull it off. All right, you weren't flipping. Screw you, Mew. All right, so let's rinse and repeat. Try this one more time. 
Wax on, wax off, grasshopper. At least I'm getting a little bit better at aiming at Mew. It's not taking me like four go rounds to actually hit the target. I see you, Doug Trio. Oh, that would have been so awesome if I'd got that flip, but I don't think I centered it. It didn't look like the photograph like was in the. I didn't see the little red icon, so I don't think I got that shot. That is horrible. Come on. You're not going to make a fool of me again, Mew. It was embarrassing enough the first time around. All right, Mew. I'm going to photograph the fudge out of you this time. <laughs> You're going to like it because you like it dirty. I don't know. Yeah, Nintendo LP was just talking about taking a picture of cute little Mew, but he managed to make it sound all dirty. What's wrong with him? I don't know. I don't know, folks. I don't know what's wrong with me sometimes. I'm frustrated. That's what's wrong with me. I'm about to just say the heck with it and keep my default credit score. Look at that. Look at Mew. Knew I was like frustrated and just looked back at me like, what? You mad? <laughs> yes, I'm mad. Screw you, Mew. Your smugness. That's what it was. He was just looking back at me like, ah, you never take a photograph of me. We're already at the end of the level. No. I still didn't get any good shots, I don't think. And stop looking at me with that look. That is like the smuggest look ever. Screw you. Why couldn't you do that spin around move when I was driving by? But no. Alright, maybe we got lucky. I think I at least got a little bit better. But I don't know. Oh, wow. These look actually kind of decent. That's like his flip move right there. So that's that's not bad. It's not centered. But I should get like at least 3,000 out of that. Oh, look at this. You can actually see Mew's face. It's amazing. All right, do I have anything better? Ooh, I like this one. Let's see. That was all suck. Oh, this is the one. Look at that. That should be like the double center score too. I don't think I'm getting anything better. Wow, I kind of surprised myself because I didn't think I got anything that good. But dumb luck. All right, so I'll take dumb luck anytime. All right, so wow, isn't this the rare Pokemon Mew? It has a special value of 2,500 points. And you can see I got it once, a little flip shot. So I didn't do too bad the last time, but I'm trying to do even better this time. So I want to go out with a bang. Yes! All right, that's good enough for me. 8,300, that's about the best I can do, folks. All right, so all 63 kinds of Pokemon. And Oak is ushering us into his lab once again. Welcome back. You made it, you made it Todd. I never believed that Mew lived on this island. What? We already gave you a picture of him once. Our Pokemon report now has a very memorable picture. Thank you, Todd. This is all because of your hard work. You don't remember the last photograph at all, do you? It was so nice to find a photographer as good as you. Bye for now, but I'll see you later, Todd. See you. Well then, see you. All right, so we're going to save. And now... We get the last final ending, because I guess Professor Oak wasn't counting Mew last time. So now, we have the ending that shows all 63 official Pokemon, and they're all naked. So, if you are one of those sick people who get your kicks looking at photographs of Pokemon not wearing any clothes, well, just sit back and enjoy the show. Alright, no, but seriously guys, everyone out there, thank you so much for being supportive of this Pokemon Let's Play. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys were like amused. I know I didn't do the best job. I didn't get the highest scores. I probably took some really lousy photographs in the course of this Let's Play. But hopefully, you were at least entertained while watching this. That's going to do it for me. But of course, this story was never about me. It was about Todd Snap, a man who loves photography more than anything else. After taking photographs of all these Pokemon, he went back to his job at Sports Illustrated. He met a model. They got married and had 2.5 kids, and now they all lived happily ever after the end. Do, 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 do. Yeah.